Hello guys, this is Mr. Mobility and this is the Samsung Galaxy A36 5G. I'm going to walk you through how to set up eSIM on this device. It comes with eSIM capabilities built in. It's also the same process for the Samsung Galaxy S25, S25 Plus, S25 Ultra, S25 Edge. It's the same process to add or set up eSIM on each of these phones. They all run one UI 7 and the user interface is the same. First thing I need you to note is that if you're setting up the eSIM, you're going to give up one of the dual nano SIM slots. It's going to shut down one of your regular SIM slots. So you'll be able to use one physical SIM and one eSIM at the same time. So here we go. You go to your settings, connections, and then SIM manager. Down here, you see add eSIM. Tap on that. The phone notifies you that it will disconnect your second SIM slot, your second physical SIM slot to add the eSIM. Okay. And now you can search for eSIMs if there's any on your phone no eSIMs found. So what we're going to do is select scan QR code. Now, you can also manually enter the activation code. Usually your network provider or carrier will send you a QR code along with an activation code. So you can do the scan thing or you can enter the activation code manually. I have a QR code here and there you go, checking SIM information. Now, in this case, this is an eSIM that I have already used on another phone. I'm just demonstrating to you the process. This is another eSIM I have already used on another phone. If I hadn't used this, it will just add that eSIM and that eSIM will now be listed right here with my second physical SIM deactivated and then your eSIM signal will show up here and just start using that line as you would any normal line. I hope this helps. If you run into any problems that you think I might be able to help or you have any questions that you think I might be able to provide answers to, leave me a comment below. I'll see you in my next video.